with Machako Senator Johnston Madama, who was this morning questioned by police over remarks he made last week at a court rally in Nairobi. Mudama, who was accompanied by court leader Raila Odinga, declined to record a statement after what his lawyer said was a failure by the police to specify why he was summoned. And as KTN's Aaron Ocheng reports, Speaker of the National Assembly, J.B. Muturi, has joined the fray by terming the senator's utterances as unfortunate. It is a statement that has elicited varied reaction among politicians the public, and even in discussions in the social media. The bone of contention being whether Senator Johnston Mudama was out of order when addressing the crowd that was present during the solidarity with teachers rally at the Uhuru Park grounds this past Wednesday. And following a summon to appear and record a statement before the Criminal Investigations Department, Mudama presented himself with a battery of lawyers together with the opposition chief. Under the Constitution, the Cabinet Secretary has absolutely no duty, no role to play in the investigation of criminal offences. Actually, as a matter of fact, the police have not accurately explained what they want Senator Mudama to answer to. They wanted a statement and they made us assertions that we know what Mudama said at Uhuru Park. According to Code Leader, government is employing diversionary tactics to sway Kenyans from realizing how incompetent the Jubilee administration is and Senator Mudama may after all be a decoy in the right place. This country is in a very serious situation. Mm. We are going through a major crisis. The schools are closed. The children are not in school. The teachers are home. And this is what exactly the government should be addressing. Rather than people who gathered at Uhuru Park to express their displeasure at what is happening in the country. Don't ask leading questions because you're looking for a story to write. Devolution Cabinet Secretary is at the center of it all. And her confession that close to one billion shillings has been stolen from her ministry is what prompted the Machako senator to lambast the government for not doing enough to deal with graft. <laughs> And Kenyans will not allow this to happen. We will not allow this to happen. We will not allow Kenyans to be blackmailed. We will not allow Kenyans to be intimidated. Kenyans must stand firm. Friday, Internal Security Cabinet Secretary, Chair of National Cohesion and Integration Commission, Director of Public Prosecution, and Inspector General of Police through spokesman Charles Owino made it clear that it will not be business as usual for Mudama. And true to their word, Mudama was summoned early Saturday morning. Hata kama haituhuzu haijafunja kipengele fulani katika sheria yetu sisi, lakini naleta uhasama kati ya jamii wa Kenya, we are interested. The debate that has also seen members of the clergy come in is to what extent is the damage of Mudama's speech and who exactly the aggrieved party is in this whole spectacle. For now, Mudama is a free man since the CID failed to ascertain as to what charges they would prefer against the senator. Aaron Ocheng, KTN News.